we've grown as a company in the last you know, 30 some years, Power Mill's been with us in, in that growth. Since then, definitely the last five years has been a great five year run and uh, we've all been very you know, fortunate to uh, ride that wave. But right now we're seeing a little bit of a bump in the wave. Finding skilled help, that is definitely a number one challenge right now. In my shop, you see that 20 year skills gap and we all have to do our part of marketing our business to these young people and showing that this is a promising career that they can have and make a good wage. We've been using this job shadowing program for three years now with Lincoln High School and we bring in the young people and we show them the design aspect of it to the machining. They get to see what type of career path would that be and whether they would like to work in an environment like this. And it's great to see how quick these young people are taken to this software. They pick up very quickly. When I first came here and seen these machines, I was so amazed at how they can actually do that. But now that I've worked with Power Mill, I realize how really easy it is to do these things. Ever since I was a kid we've had computers at home. Me having a computer experience, I'm not afraid to mess with different options or different tool paths that I'm not used to using. And I'm not afraid to dig deeper and see what things do because it's all very user friendly. You know, we make the steering wheel molds that, that go in some cars like Ford and Chrysler and the airbags are very, very important. So we, we have to make sure that all the components that are for these steering wheels are precise and they're going to be for, and they're going to be safe. You can do that with power mill. You can see what you need to be able to do. Kept thinking and thinking like, what do I want to be? Do I want to be this? Do I want to be that? Until I got in the CTA program at Lincoln High School, and after I got into power mill and started learning how to program it and run the CNC machine, I saw my future in those classes. And then when I, after I graduated from Lincoln High School, I got employed as a full-time employee at an mold. I'm running a five-axis CNC machine. I'm really good at it, and I really enjoy doing it. They actually bring new ideas to the shop, too. They, they, they see the software, and they'll dig deep in the software and show some of the guys with more experience, hey, did you know we could do this with the software? And a lot of times, uh, you know, they add to, to your expertise in your shop, too. We've just seen great results as you've met my three young CNC machinists. They're doing phenomenal. All three of them are just outstanding young men. The culture of making things, that's very important. And this culture here is a nurturing culture that we want kids to learn. 